Oh, uh, the eye and the rope. Okay. Okay. Let's beat your bitch a little bit. No, how about no? No, you know, I'm gonna go out Can there I and I'm gonna compete my best. Uh, I don't have much. Uh, it's a great game. Thank you. That me and Beach are play. And, uh, you know, both of, obviously both of us want to go out there and do our best. And that's what we're both going to go out there and do. Actually, I heard that some people are saying that this fight is not something for, uh, uh, to support any, uh, any, any of the fighters. It's just to enjoy a beautiful fight. What do you think about this? Wait, what was the first part of that question? Who said that? Yeah, so I heard here, everyone was talking about this, that this would be a fight just to enjoy and not support anyone because you are a modern hero, a modern uh, champion, and Victor is champion. Uh, ch uh, old champion. Yeah, past. yeah I, I think in some ways it's important for everybody just to remember to enjoy the show. Um, you know, it's a sport that we play, and ultimately um, we're here to entertain, and I'm just grateful to be here for all the fans to entertain them and uh, to you know show my art and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try to paint the most beautiful picture I can paint and I think I owe that to myself and to all the fans. Let's things I got to do. Hi, I'm from Brazil. Nice to meet you. Nice the Brazil you. love you. You have a lot of fans in Brazil. You know you. about this. Minotoro send a, a hug for you. Oh, do you know Minotoro? Absolutely, Mr. Nog. I had a great time. First yes. of all, when I was in Brazil, for I had great food. It's crazy. I got to dance. I went to a party at the uh, a party at the, at the favelas. Do you go and to the funk music? I, I was like, Do you know the play funk music? Mm, 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 mm. I had a Popo time. Zuda. I had a great time. Okay, for you, how is the, the, the number one for the UFC? Anderson Silva, Mr. John Jones, or Vitor Belfort? What, what's your question the exactly? One? The number one from the oh. UFC. Oh, Anderson Silva. Uh, you know, I've made that pretty clear. Anderson Silva is probably the best fighter that's ever competed in martial arts, and you know, his record backs that up so that's why he's uh he's an idol of mine and who will win this fight you or Vitor Belfort <laughs> me hey, are you sure I'm not sure but I'm pretty confident that I will execute uh, the way I'm capable of oh give me five you are my friend because, because what, what's the key to that jump in guys jump in guys go ahead my what? last question what kind of reaction do you think you're gonna get on Saturday night you know, I won't be surprised if I got booed, but at the end of the day, it's a sport, man. Boos are going to come uh, with the territory, so it's okay with me. You know, I think over a period of time, people will get over the UFC 151 situation and, um, and you know, move forward. So if I get booed, I'm, I'm at peace with that, and I, ultimately it won't change anything. I'm still going to compete my best. John, you had an extended uh, training camp uh, due to the cancellation of UFC 151. Has that helped you? Absolutely. You know, I, uh, I'm a guy who pride myself in being ultimately prepared. And I felt like I was definitely prepared to go out there and put a good whooping on Dan Henderson. And to get three, three more weeks of training was phenomenal. I got to master my diet even more. I got to um, work my cardio even more, my physical strength. Um, my, you know, a lot of times when I join and start my camp, I have to really just get my timing back and get my hips going and get my movements going. And to start a camp at 100%, you know, I really feel as if uh, you could see one of the best performances and best mobility that I've ever displayed. Have you found a place to uh, meditate while you're here? I in haven't this yet. Time? I haven't found a meditation spot yet, but we're gonna find a great one, I'm sure, and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. My last question: Chael Sonny say bad things about Brazil, and uh, he would like to win. Uh, he would like to fight with you. And why you didn't fight with him? Well, I've answered that question a thousand times. Basically, Chael Sonnen is not... Just Chael Sonnen, uh, Chael Sonnen for you. Would you like to, to fight with him? I uh, think this is Chael No, this is a game. What, what's the key to... <laughs> that Vitor is most dangerous in the first two to three minutes. Uh, do you feel that at his age now and coming back to 205, does he still have that speed and, and is he still as dangerous as he once was? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of times when I'm... I'm focusing on an opponent, I try to watch my opponent in their prime, and I believe Vitor was his absolute best when he, uh, in his ages of being 19. Well, I think the competition he was going against, like beating Tim Cabot and guys like that, you know, no disrespect to Tim, but, you know, I think I'm fighting a different level of competition. Um, so, um, different times? Different times, you know, different times, but um, I watch I watch Vitor a lot. I study him when he was at his absolute best, and, um, I'm kind of getting lost in my train of thought where I really, really want to go with this. Um, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for the best beats of the That's what that's what I've uh, studied and that's what I've worked for, you know, fighting the best displays of what he has to offer. And I think me fighting Vitor um, in his absolute prime, would have, I, I would have, uh, you know, we would have great matches as well. So um, I don't really think his, his age really has anything to do with it. You know, Vitor is learning his style. You know, I see progressions actually in his older years. But I'm prepared for the absolute best Vitor, whether he's 35 or 19. Um, that's what I want to compete against the best. And John, I really best case think scenario. He's still. 
Very good. Thank you. Good luck in the fight, Jones. Thank you, brother. Good luck. Can you do me a favor? Can you lose, please? I come from Brazil, please. Best case scenario, how do you plan on finishing the fight? Uh, you know, I definitely just want to finish the fight. How, I have no clue, but uh, I, I would like to finish the fight. So, so talk about training in front of a couple hundred people. It was awesome, man. You know, uh, mixed martial arts is my livelihood. You know, even uh, when I don't have a fight coming up, I just get so bored. I'm like, what am I going to do with myself? And uh, <laughs> being back in front of uh, an MMA audience, is, it, it makes me feel alive. And it's just, you know, whether people are booing or cheering, you know, just the fact that they're here to see, uh, it, it motivates me and it inspires me, inspires me. So I'm just grateful to be here to entertain these people. Johnny, about the beard, are you, are you fighting with the beard or not? can't tell you. You're going to have to order that fight. You'll see 152 and you'll see for yourself whether I came out with this nappy beard or whether I shaved it up. What's the key to beating? Kimbo's legs go inside the octagon, man. Huh? Kimbo's legs? I think that Kimbo's legs. Oh, I'm way too skinny for that. Right here, go ahead, bud. Uh, what's the key to beating Vitor on Saturday? The key to beating Vitor is just to be me. You know what I mean? Go out there, believing in myself, having fun, moving my body the way I know I'm capable of, and just really just having that confidence in my coaching staff, my versatility. Uh, my seriousness, and my training. Your elbows. Put my elbows. You it's know. crazy. <laughs> Can you show me the, your elbows in your right. face? No. Stop <laughs> uh, coming off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> just, just believing in myself, man. When I believe and I have fun, I trust. Uh, good things happen, and I have the utmost amount of belief in myself, especially with this extended camp. I think I'll do just fine. Two more guys. Why Vito comes off like a raging bull like he used to? Hey, they, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, fighting is improv, and I believe that uh, that my improvisational skills are decent, and I'll come up with something. Did Last you, one. Did you modify your training at all once you found out that you had Vidor as an opponent? Absolutely, I had to modify my training. You know, that's a big reason why I didn't take the Chelsea Sonic fight. You know, it's about modifying your training, and it can come and, you know, ultimately prepare. Well, you said that uh, you didn't bring in anyone special, so no. how, did, how did you modify the training? Well, I just had my teammates give me different looks. You know, I, I don't really don't, I don't believe in trying to switch camps and, and you know, find a whole bunch of new trainers and all that stuff. I have the same exact program that I had uh, since I joined the UFC, regardless of the opponent. Yeah. So um, you know, I believe in trusting your staff. You know, working together, always having a staff that's willing to learn and grow. Um, and uh, and that's what my staff is. They listen to my input. I listen to their input, and we come up with these formulas together, and uh, and it's working. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. If it ever breaks, we can repair it. And you know, I believe in the people around me. Thanks, Thanks dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. guys. Oh, the last. Can I measure your uh, wingspan? <laughs> no. Can I measure you? No. Because John,